Hi kids, welcome to this morning's children's moment. Guess what I have in my bag today? I bet you'll recognize it. I hope you will. I don't wear a hat very well. I borrowed this from my brother-in-law, Chuck. It's a pirate baseball cap. You know, the Pirates is a team that's been around for a long, long time. And we call them the Pirates or the Bucks. That's their name. They're baseball players. Their insignia is a buccaneer, a pirate on a pirate ship. When they won the championship in 1979, yeah, that's been a long time ago, 41 years, some of your moms and dads aren't even that old, but when they won that championship, we called them something else. We called them the world champions. They won the World Series. It was awesome. And we hope someday they will win it again. You know, other people get a change of name. The Pirates went from the Pirates in 1979 to be called the champions of the world. Sometimes our names change at special times in our life. Like when I got married, my name changed from Terry Mikesell to Mrs. Terry Simsek. Your mommies and daddies may have made that change as well. Another change that happens happened to my dad when he entered the army. Before he went to the army, he was Tommy Mikesell. When he became a soldier, he was Private Thomas Mikesell. And he had dog tag numbers that he could recite even till the day he died almost. Then he became PFC Thomas Mikesell, and then Sergeant Thomas Mikesell, and then Staff Sergeant Thomas Mikesell. His name changed every time his rank changed. Today, in our story from the scriptures, we're talking about a man named Jacob. And as he wrestled with God, as he prayed with God, as he gave up his life to God, his name changed. He went from be calling, being called a deceiver, a tricker, to being called one who struggles with God and won. Now, I don't mean he fought with God like you fight in a wrestling match or in the boxing ring, but he fought with God in his heart. He fought to make God the Lord of his life. And so, in that struggle, in that fight, he won. He won because he gave in to God. You know, someday your names will change, but the most important name that you can have is the name Christian to choose to be a follower of Christ, to believe in God, and to have him as your Lord and your master. I hope that someday you'll be able to make that decision, that you will call God your Lord, that you will call Jesus your savior, that you will be called a Christian. What a wonderful moment that will be. When your name changes from Stetson or Julie, or Aubrey, to, or Harper, to Christian, a child of God. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for our kids. We thank you for the life lessons they are learning, for the faith lessons they are learning. And we pray that your Holy Spirit will come upon them and you will challenge them to accept you as their Lord and Savior. We live for that day. What a happy day it will be. Watch out for our kids, Father. Keep them safe. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. I hope you're enjoying the summer. I hope that if you play ball that your team is winning. We'll see you here next week. Same time, same place. Batter up.